the other day if I could tell them how to wheelie. I'm a terrible instructor. And on this bike, there isn't really a lot to tell you except for you just give it gas. Put it in second gear and you just give it gas, it'll come up. And you just gotta practice and then you gotta practice getting to that balance point. It takes a lot of practice and a bit of confidence. My favorites though are clutch up in third, low RPM in third, around 70 kilometers an hour or something. You clutch it up in third and then you can ride it forever. Because you're just at low RPM. If you get to the balance point then you can just keep it at a low RPM and go for a long ways. It's, it's a lot of fun. Those are my favorite. Or you bring it up in second, shift into third, and then ride in third, low RPM. But the key is balance. You gotta get to that balance point, and you gotta cover that rear brake just in case. I mean, if you really wanna get good at wheeling, get a different bike and practice. Get a two-stroke dirt bike, and you practice covering that rear brake because there's no engine braking on a two-stroke wall, very little. So, you uh, have to cover that rear brake. Yeah, so my advice for doing wheelies, my how-to, second gear on this bike, traction control off, obviously. You don't need very many RPMs, like right around 4,000, you just crack it, it'll come up. Let's see, maybe I'll give you a demo. So I'll show you second gear here. Shift into third. Still going up. I don't like to get right to the limiter because when you're coming down, it's good to get on the gas. You save your front suspension. You don't blow fork seals. So just as you're coming down, you can feel it. Get on the gas and save it. But you can hear that when I'm going. I'm just a little bit lower than the balance point because you can just hear it. I'm slowly accelerating. RPMs are slowly climbing. But yeah, that was power wheelie up in second, shift into third, and then the closer to the balance point, the further you can go. Most people, they power wheelie their sport bikes and then they keep it well below balance point so they're just accelerating the whole time. And on sport bikes, because those inline fours, they redline so high, you can still go pretty far doing that. I used to do it on my Jixxer, they're 1,000. I could go a long way. 70K, clutch up, third gear. It's a little squirrely when you get right to that balance point, you gotta really work on your balance side, side to side. But yeah, it seems like the clutch ups in third are the easiest to control. You go about 70 kilometers an hour, clutch it up. If you can get to the balance point quick, then it's those are the easiest to control. It's nice lower RPM. I just have it in street mode. I don't put it in sport because sport is touchier. I find streets easier to keep it smooth. This bike used to make me nervous around the balance point because it's so torquey. It's pretty. T I think that's why I like third better because it's so torquey that it's pretty touchy. That's why, again, that's why I use street mode. Good times. Woo! So that's about it. My next, my plan for my next video, again, is to pick up on my trip where I left off. I believe it was day four. Going through Winthrop and the North Cascades. So keep your eyes open for that. I just kind of felt like I needed a break from those videos. I, uh, like I said in my last one, they're a bit dry, so. And then my last video was pretty dry too. I was getting into what I'm doing with my life and most people, I know you guys don't care about that crap, so I barely care about that crap. <laughs> this is all I wanna do, ride bikes.